Höganäs har many partners from the academic world, universities, institutes. We work together with them in different projects, industrial projects. We want to industrialize their inventions. One way of, of showing the appreciation for uh, these uh, people, professors, doctors, it's to have a symposium like this, to let them express what they are good at to get in front of an audience which are not specialist in their segment. And that gives a special feeling for them that they are member of a, of a bigger community. And that's important for us. The academia in, in certain fields listen to academia in another field. You can actually cross-fertilize their own areas. So you can sort of make that one plus one becomes three. And, and that's a big advantage. I'm going to describe our technology for making uh, site-selected nanowire material, um, starting with the need for making these materials. Uh, my example will be solar cells, but I will have some other examples as well, um, because we, uh, we believe that there is um, uh, a need for making uh, nanostructured materials uh, in a much more efficient way. Because nanostructured materials can save energy, save materials and save costs in the long run. I will talk about the importance of, of a surface on the metal uh, powder and its implications for the toxicity and the response towards the environment. Today I will talk about ICME, Integrated Computational Materials Engineering and Materials Genome and how that can help us to develop new materials much quicker than what we have done so far. And I will also tell about a center that I am director for where we are working on these techniques, both on the modeling part and the experimental part. My research area is additive manufacturing and especially the electron beam melting method. So that is of course what I'm going to present, uh, the background, the technology and especially the, the state of the art of the process and material development in the area. I'm going to present uh, solution chemical ways of making different types of materials. That means uh, to efficiently prepare very complex materials that we need to have, for instance, in renewable energy. So it's really nanostructures with a lot of elements, but made in very simple and fast steps. Today I'm going to talk about our specialities and what we do and our aims in this area where we have developed a lot of methodologies to characterize metal powders from surface chemical point of view and understand how this has an impact on the final properties of metal powder and particularly products you make from metal powder. I will talk about um, the, the opportunity of powder metallurgy to enhance and boost the usage of titanium uh, for the pro products or processing or production of things of our daily life, which is not the case today. And I will give an overview about properties and about challenges also. And I like to point out what the possibilities are for the future if powder metallurgy of titanium becomes really successful and a standard way of processing. My talk will deal with the relationship in between uh, microstructure and properties in materials. This is the typical uh, thing that we do in material science and engineering. What we try is to relate this microstructure with the properties because if we improve the microstructure, we will improve the properties. In my case, uh, we are working in uh, combined uh, different types of uh, tests in order to use all those tests together to have a better knowledge of the microstructure and as a consequence of the properties. This is a really uh, a good opportunity to, to complement my skills with what they are doing in other complementary skill, uh, fields of, of, my, of my research area. So, in fact, I am really curious about what they are going to offer to me this afternoon or tomorrow. Arranging a symposium like this is, is very important for Höganes because we can show that we are active within many fields and we are very serious in this uh, world of universities and institutes. The audience will bring home uh, much more knowledge and they combining it with their own knowledge so they can sort of triple their output.